What's up guys, David Stanley back. Uh, I was on vacation all last week. I went to Vegas and did some uh, sightseeing and whatnot with my family. Went to Disneyland. Now I'm back, ready to go. A little jet lag though from the time difference from being on the west coast to the east coast. So we're back with another PSVR in review and this week we are talking about Astrobot VR. This is my second favorite game uh, for PlayStation VR. Similar to Until Dawn Rush of Blood. The reason why I like this one is because if they really don't want to play horror, but they still want to get a good VR experience, everybody's played a 3D style Mario game uh, at some point by now, so you can easily hand them, and it's just a controller, it's not the wands. You can easily hand them a controller, and be like, it's Mario, but in VR. They get it right away. It's a ton of fun. Uh, I love playing through this game. I haven't platinum yet, yet. I really want to. Uh, it's a bit of a grind at the end to get all the uh, the little sub-levels and everything else, but let's kick it over to some information about the game. Okay, Astrobot Rescue Mission, Sony Interactive, PSVR game, released October 2nd, 2018, has a really high rating. Description, Astrobot Rescue Mission is a brand new platformer developed exclusively for the use with PSVR, take control of Astro, the captain bot, and go on an epic VR rescue mission to save your fellow bots who are dispersed all over space. It requires a PSVR headset and requires a PSVR camera. It's rated E10 for everyone. Crude humor, fantasy violence, details. It has a file size of 7.24 gigs. And like I said before, it requires the PSVR and PS. PS camera required. All right, guys, so like as all my PSVRs in review, I'm gonna kick it over to some gameplay. I'm gonna run through a level and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna tell you what I like, what I dislike, what I feel like it looks like inside the visor. Uh, Cause you can't really relay that with just the, the, the social feed capture. So let's get over to some gameplay. Yeah. robot what up little dude Oh, my God. 
Here we go.
All right, guys, so there's some gameplay from Astrobot Rescue Mission VR. All right, let's start off with graphics. Graphics are super clean. You don't really have a screen door effect that some of the other PS VR games has. It feels really polished, really bright colors. Like the one level, there's uh, these glowing mushrooms. This use, uh, the use of light sources and stuff like that really helps uh, with the, the models, the 3D models and everything. Like, just very vibrant, very playful cult with colors. It looks really good. Like, uh, it really feels immersive, like looking around the world in all directions. The little Astrobot guy is just all around you. You have to look behind you for some uh, different things to pick up and what and things like that. But uh, as far as graphics go, it is super clean. Frame rate's really great. Uh, it's really high frame rate. No slowdowns that I noticed at all in my gameplay. Even though PSVR has a disclaimer not for children, I wouldn't hesitate to throw a uh, younger child in this to give it a give, let them try it out. It's super fun, super easy to play. Like I said, it, it just has like this whimsical, magical feel to it when you're playing it like you got back when you were a kid playing Mario for the first time. Uh, then sound. Sound's really great too, and while you're playing the game, sound from the music, uh, this, the soundtrack is amazing. It's just really great soundtrack. It even starts off with like, what did you say your name was? And then uh, all the way up to it, uh, the, the later track saying, I am Astrobot, introducing the character. So this, the soundtrack kind of tells the story too. Other sound cues, you can hear your little Astrobot friends like saying, help me, help me in, in the background. And uh, there's these little geckos to find and they're invisible, but you can hear them chirping and then you just have to look at them and then you'll, uh, they'll come into, uh, they'll change from being invisible to seeing them and then that unlocks new levels to play through, new challenge levels to play through. So there's a ton of replayability, the sound, it's graphics. And then, all right, gameplay, gameplay, like I said, is super easy, super fun. The double jump with the thrusters uh, to take out enemies, it's just traditional Mario style, jump on their heads, kill them too. Also running up and punching, stuff like that. And then you get these cool gadgets inside your uh, PSVR controller. And like I said, just the tracking and the controller and, the, and your head movements and everything like that. It's super fun and you get with these gadgets you get like a, a ninja star you get a grappling hook flashlight you can spray water and put fire out a lot of gameplay mechanics in here super fun to uh use and it, it does get challenging the jumps uh some of the jumps are actually pretty precise you need to double jump and time it perfectly to get across there a lot of replayability, collecting coins uh, outside of the missions on the worlds and outside of uh, the, the challenge missions you unlock. There's also, you can go to the ship and then there's this little ball claw machine mechanic game. And then that gives you little dioramas of the character models and they can be unlocked inside the ship to make a 3D playground around you inside the ship of uh, modeled after each level which that's super cool and unlocking all that stuff and unless you're just trying to get the platinum trophy that and to play with that super fun but if you want the platinum trophy you gotta kind of grind out collecting coins and finding all the I think every level has eight astrobots some might have more some might have left but I'm pretty sure it's standard eight uh, I might be wrong on that one let me know in the comments below if you know if it's eight for every level or not Find all those, find all the geckos, find all the big coins, unlock everything out of the claw machine. A lot of replay value in this game. Like I said, super fun, super easy to get. If there's somebody that's not really a gamer in there and they want to check out VR, they don't want to check out horror stuff, this is a super fun game to throw them into, and I can't recommend it enough. It's one of my all-time favorite PSVR games. Two thumbs up. Other things about the gameplay too is just being at its VR, just stuff grows around you and then like I said there's like in all angles looking underneath stuff, looking behind stuff for the little astrobots and then you get to the uh, final stage, the world bosses and they are larger in life. The very first one that uh, I'll show some gameplay of is this mechanical uh, gorilla and you have to, and he 
chop it at you because he's holding on to the building and he can't use his hands. You have to jump over the shock waves, smash his teeth out, and then with the gadget and the controller, you get to shoot out the grappling hook and pull in, pull his tooth out, and you pull his teeth out, and then you, you, you defeat the boss. And there's just boss after boss like that, and they're all super fun. Very reminiscent of Nintendo figuring out their attack patterns and figuring out what you need to do to uh, defeat each boss, and they're very memorable bosses. And it's just so much fun to play, and I can't stress how much this is a must-buy for any PSVR. There are some PSVR packages that include Astro Bot Rescue Mission. The reason why I don't recommend those is because they don't come with the move wands. They expect you just to use a controller. So if you want the full PSVR experience in your initial purchase, you're gonna find uh, look for the one that has the two move controllers, the camera. The headset, the newer headset, because there is an older model that did not have earbuds built into it. Um, if you're looking for a package deal, look for one of those. I think mine is the, my, not that I think, I know mine is the Skyrim edition and it has all those features that I just listed there. So make sure if you're going to find one, pick that package up. Alright guys, so that is Astrobot VR Rescue Missions. Two thumbs up, a gem of a game. A masterpiece VR game, a must play for PSVR. Alright, guys, until next time, my name is Davis Deadly. Peace. Ooh. Yeah.